Okay, so question number five. All right, so here we're asked, what is decimal notation? All right, so a decimal notation is a representation or a fraction using the base 10 and consisting of any digits and a decimal point. The digits on the left of the decimal point have a multiple of a positive power of 10, while the digits on the right have a multiple of negative power of 10 to illustrate. So this is kind of like a word explanation. Oftentimes it's hard to understand what does this even mean, but we'll go through this. So here they give you a long number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then same thing backwards. But essentially what they're showing here is this decimal point right here. And these commas are just to make this number easier to read, but you don't have to worry about those. Just worry about this decimal point. This is the main thing. So we can see here, this is the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on, on the left side of the decimal point. And on the right side of the decimal point, we have the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and so on. So here they give some example, looking at the number, the nine, so looking at this number, the nine in the tenth place. So the tenth place is right here, we have the number nine. Um, and the seven in the thousandth place, so this seven over here, can be written as follows. So we can write this nine. So what they're trying to say here is if we have something like 0 0.9, we can write this as nine divided by 10. And that's where the tenths comes in. So because we have a, a fraction where the 10 is on the bottom, that's why you have the tenths. Similarly for the seven, so we have seven and then thousandths. So we know there's a thousand in the denominator. So 0 0.007, this is zero over here, is equal to seven over 1000. So that's kind of an overview of the general notation, uh, sorry, general decimal notation. So if we were given a number like 24.825, okay, just looking at this, we can say this is the ones, this is the tens, so you know 24. But if you're, you're, the more challenging part of this isn't really the left side, it's more knowing the right side. So this isn't the ones, this is the tenths. Why? A quick way to remember this is if, if you look at just this column separately right here. So if we had just 0.8 by itself, that might be a little clearer of what this represents. So if you divide 0.8 by um, if you want to represent this with base 10 in the denominator, you know that this is equal 8 divided by 10. So if you take 8 divided by 10, that's equal to 0.8, or 80%. So this is also equivalent to 80%. So that's another way to think about it. Um, but yeah, that's essentially a general overview of the decimal notation. Um, let me think about if there's anything else. So just looking at this number again, so we can see that the two right here is in the hundredths column and the five here is in the thousandths column. So you have 0.825 and that's kind of, you use the same idea if you want to split this up. So it would be two over a hundred, five over a thousand. If you want to represent these separately. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Great job. I'll leave a comment here. And we'll mark this as correct and move on to question.